There is a new AI tool that seriously competes with ChatGPT. I've been using it even more than ChatGPT, and I want to share five different ways I use it that ChatGPT just can't even do. And this platform is called Harpa AI. So you could go to it, harpa.ai, and it's just a simple Chrome extension. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm just a big fan of this extension, and you just have to download it here for free. Just make sure you install Chrome if you're using a different type of an internet browser. And all you have to do is press add to Chrome right here. Click on the puzzle icon up here, press the little pin here, and it's gonna appear right over here. Now Harpa could do hundreds of different AI tasks. I'm gonna share with you five of my favorites in this video. Number one, it's gonna completely enhance your Google search. So I just did a Google search here, I got my typical response. But if I click on Harpa down here, it's gonna do that same search, but it's gonna to respond to me in chat format, just like we usually get this type of answer inside of ChatGPT. And it gives me related searches here with links that I could click on. So that's a really, really quick way to instead of clicking a bunch of links, you get your answers this way. This is similar to what you get out of Bard or Bing. Now it's just inside of Google using Harpa AI. And this is using GPT 3.5 to do the summary, but you have other language models, AI language models that you could choose. You could even choose Bard over here. You could choose Claude. A lot of different options that are available here with Harpa AI. Now I'm gonna just type in slash clear here to start with a new page. If you type in slash, you get hundreds of commands here to choose from. So depending on what you're doing, you could go ahead and type in slash and see if that's available for you. But let me show you my second favorite way to use Harpa. You could use Harpa to chat with any web page. This is incredible. I'm inside of this NASA web page here. If I click this icon, it's going to let me basically get a summary of this page, short or long, but I could chat with the page too, slash ask. Okay, this turns this page into an AI chatbot. It works pretty much with any page on the web. So right here, I just said, give me the key takeaway in bullet point format. There we go. It just summarized this page in bullet point format, and I could have a back and forth conversation. This is not just a simple summary of the page you're on. You could have a back and forth conversation. My third favorite way to use this that I think you'll find really useful is you could chat with your own PDF documents. So I just took this PDF document, put it on a dropbox.com. I created an account, uploaded it, and then I copied the link. So this is the link to that Dropbox. And all I have to do is press this option again. And again, I could get a summary and I could chat with the document too. So I'm gonna chat with it. I'm gonna say, what's the main takeaway? And there we go, in real time, I just got the main takeaway. I could say, give me the top 10 points. And there we go, I'm gonna get the top 10 points of this document in real time. So back and forth, chat conversation with my own PDF files. Now this is a bonus one, it's not even on the list, but if you go to any web page that has things for sale, you could click this option and go to this task option right here. And this literally shows me information I'm not gonna find anywhere else. So it shows me kind of a price history and price drop and all this information. And I could always chat with this as well. So it says compose a DM, extract info, write a review, write a description, <laughs> write a meta tag here for e-commerce. So all those are always different depending on what kind of page you're on. So all these recommendations are very specific to this page. Now next, you could select any text online. So this is just on x.com and I could click this icon here and I could basically write a post or I could reply to this post. So I'm gonna press reply here. Let's say I wanna reply to a tweet that I found here. What would you like to reply? And the selected text is what I'm gonna choose. This is the selected text. And it says, how would you like to reply? And then I could say in agreement, in disagreement, question, any of these options. So praise maybe, I could select that. And there we go, bravo on the release of Canva Magic Studio. So it's just replying to exactly what this tweet or this post was. And then you could always paste it right here, paste to page. Okay, and I saved the best for last. This one takes place inside of YouTube. One of my favorite ways to use this, you could try it with this video, for example. This is an hour long podcast with the CEO of YouTube. And if I just click this icon right here, again, I could get a quick summary of the video. I could also chat with the video. I could write a comment. So this helps me write a reply. But in this case, let me just show you. Summarize this video and it's gonna ask me, do I want a longer, shorter? I'm just gonna get a short summary here and I'm gonna show you, this is in real time, no editing involved. Just see how quick this is. So right there, 16 minutes in, 20 minutes in, 
This is an hour long, 56 minutes long, right? So you can see maybe in five, 10 seconds, it's gonna summarize an entire one hour video for me in different sections. This covered a lot of different topics and I could quickly browse and get the key points of this video. And these are clickable. So I could jump into the section at the 21 minute mark, seven seconds. They're discussing generative AI. That's what I wanted to see. So boom, I'm right there in the video. I didn't have to watch the full hour to get the points about generative AI in this conversation. So you could always add this as a comment. You could shorten it. You could also press slash and get other YouTube related help. And you could also chat with the video, just like you could chat with any web page, just like you could chat with your own PDF or any PDF that is online. You could also go ahead and ask any question that comes from the transcript of this video and have a back and forth conversation to get most out of the video. Something that's just never been possible in the past. And as I mentioned, this could do over a hundred different things. I showed you my top five favorite ways to use it. And if you wanna stay up to date with all things AI, we have an entire e-learning platform where we make videos just like this one. Well over 300 videos there, as well as entire courses. We have over 10 complete courses on Midjourney, ChatGPT advanced course, making your own AI bot. Basically, we're trying to make an online school all about generative AI so you could stay up to date and actually utilize things that are beneficial and could make you more productive. So I'll include a link in the description. You could start for free there. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time.